burned down. What's going on everybody? Oregon Motorcycle back today bringing you another wonderful episode. Coming straight out of Westland today on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. Today is September 2nd and it is 2020. We're still in 2020. Yeah. Today marks the anniversary, seven year anniversary for me at my current job that I have uh, in Portland. And uh, yeah, I mean, that was pretty much the main reason I moved up here in this area is for this job that I have, so. And I like it, it's cool. Uh, I get to do what I want and run things how I like, so it's, it's a really good job, except for the simple fact that all this cough cough has got all, you know, I cut my workload in half, basically, so. Uh, very thankful for working for such a great individual, understanding individual, so. Anyways, what's going on with you guys? I hope all is well in your your land, your your area, your life, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm just plucking away here. I uh, just uploaded an awesome video today, probably one of my favorites. It's got to be at least my top five favorite videos. It's the trip we took around Mount St. Helens. It was totally epic, and of course the the GoPro footage doesn't do much. Uh, it's just like 100% better when you're there in real life. So it's got me scratching my head today thinking like, how could I bring, how could I bring you guys a better like show, showing of something that I go out and see? Cause a lot of times, like for instance, last week I was, I was hanging out with my buddies and, and uh, he was talking to me about uh, the video that my buddy and I did, uh, Kevin at Lottie Flats. And when we were going over these whoops and He's like, yeah, I was watching your video, and he's like, yeah, those whoops look cool, man. They're like three or four foot, you know, high whoops or whatever. <laughs> and he gets out there, and he's like, he's like, geez, man. He's like, these are like 10 foot whoops, <laughs> you know, not three or four footers. And, and in the video, it looks like they're three or four foot whoops, but in reality, they're they're massive, man. And we're trying to show you guys what we're doing on these bikes, and then, you know, I get these comments like, oh, that was a pretty mellow trail, and I'm just, <laughs> you know, we're sitting there laughing at each other. But anyways, anyways. Maybe I'll try to incorporate some more more ground footage or more drone footage. I know the, the drone footage does really well and kind of sets sets it straight. So I don't know, just some things I've been tossing around in my head along with other things. Like today is Wednesday, of course. So today is the Oregon motorcycle ride. It's every Wednesday. Yeah, we leave at six o'clock. We meet at 530, meet at six o'clock. Um, today is going to be the third official ride. And it's it's a it's a blast, guys. We just it's a mellow ride, mellow pace. Gives you guys the opportunity to get yourself into that group ride atmosphere with a more safety-oriented theme, I guess you could say. Um, we had a good turnout on the first ride. The second ride wasn't the greatest turnout, which I kind of expected. Hopefully today we have a, a decent turnout. Um, I hope to see some new faces today and, and all that good stuff. Last week we rode up to. Um, um, Draw a blank. <laughs> Ripplebrook. So we did the Ripplebrook run, which was fun. Um, tonight we're probably just going to be riding, you know, doing the normal Oregon City uh, routes that we do, that we tend to do. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of great roads. Um, so it's pretty awesome. If you guys are in the Portland area, come out and join us because we welcome all riders, welcome all bikes, and it's a lot of fun. Exhaust, huh? So yeah, I want to thank. Uh, I want to give a shout out. This is something I haven't done in a while, but I want to give a shout out to all my coffee con coffee contributors. You guys can buy me a coffee down below. The link is down below. Um, I've had a rash of coffee contributors lately, and I know I haven't mentioned it in the last month or so. So as you guys can see, these names scrolling up. These are all my recent contributors that I haven't mentioned yet. Um, and like I said, recently I've got a, a quite a handful of them. And you guys, I don't think I don't know if you guys like understand how much i appreciate this like it, it's helping me so much especially in this time right now where you know i'm not working full time and you know things are a little tough and and um it helps dramatically like for instance the the coffee money that i've accumulated over the past couple weeks here is going to fund my trip this weekend which we'll talk about in a minute and that's a that's direct that's direct from you guys you guys are like you know, putting gas in my tank to take this trip and I'm gonna record it and I'm gonna make videos for you guys and share it with you. And, you know, like I always talk about this big circle, like how you guys subscribe and share share my videos. 
it helps. And when you guys watch my video and share my videos, you know, it introduces my videos to potential subscribers, which gives me more views. So it's like I said, it's all a big rotating circle. And then when you guys help me out, you know, financially, like buy me a coffee or what whatnot, then that just increases it more and more. So it's all a big snowball that you guys are all a part of. So, you know, it, it's, it's a wonderful thing. And I super appreciate every single one of you guys that are helping me. It's just, it's amazing, guys. It's amazing. You guys are awesome. You guys rock, totally. And speaking of contributing and helping me and supporting the channel, um, today I'm proud to announce that I started a Patreon. You guys, <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure on all the interworkings of the Patreon system. I got a basic concept, but I know there was a couple people here, you know, my personal friends that were kind of pushing me to do this. Um, and you know, I there's a lot of channels that have it, a lot of channels that are bigger that have it. There's some channels that are smaller than me that I've noticed that have it too. So I'm going to get the ball rolling on that. Um, there is a link posted down below right now if you guys are interested in checking that out right now and joining. Uh, I'm gonna get some things worked up here in the next couple of weeks to provide maybe a little more uh, content for you Patreons or maybe like sneak peeks or maybe behind the scenes or maybe you guys will get to see my videos first. I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna work it, but it's there, we're starting it, we're gonna do it. So um, if you guys have any tips for me for the Patreon, please let me know, comment below, tell me what's up, because I have no idea what I'm doing. So um, I'm just trying to expand the Oregon motorcycle. Um, so yeah, you guys can help me out by being a part of it. So going back to uh, the trip this weekend, that you guys are helping support. <laughs> um, I had a I had a whole two night, three day camping trip planned um, with a friend of mine, and yesterday he canceled on me. So, which is kind of screwy because I was I was I had plans to do this other trip up in Washington with a whole nother group of people, and I didn't make plans with that group of people because I was making plans with my friend to go do this trip and yeah so yesterday he canceled out on me you know it is what it is everybody's doing their thing everybody's got stuff to deal with so I, I understand I'm not mad at him or anything you know like that it's just I don't know maybe he watched my last moto camping video <laughs> uh, all jokes aside all jokes aside so now what I have is I have a three-day weekend that's pretty much completely opened up for me now so I'm trying to figure out uh, where exactly I want to go. I don't know if it's going to be a two-nighter now. It might be just be a one-nighter. I'm not 100% sure. I have another buddy of mine that you guys know. He's in a lot of my videos that might go with me. I'm not 100%. Maybe a 50-50 chance he will. If he does, it'll be a one-nighter. If I take off by myself, it's a 50-50 chance it'll be a two-nighter. I'm not sure. You know, I don't know. If you guys have any uh, areas you want me to check out, that's kind of close post it down in the comments i'll take a look at them and see what's up i was gonna go to this one place in the mount hood national forest that looks really awesome it's a place i've been wanting to explore for some time now um, but it's closed because of, there's a fire out there it's um something white creek fire or something i, I don't know something out there but it's a fire that's been going on for about two weeks according to my knowledge it's the largest fire in oregon going on right now so i'll keep an eye on it if the place opens up say you know towards the end of this week i might still head back out there uh, I'm contemplating Crater Lake area again because I feel like I left something behind back there, down there. <laughs> uh, I like to go to the Painted Hills. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I'm also thinking about headed up, um, going out towards Astoria, crossing the bridge that I never crossed out there, and then going up into Washington a little, a little bit on the coastal side of Washington there and exploring some of that area that I've never explored. I don't know. I, I got a couple days to think about it. But yeah, if you guys got any cool areas around here that's not uh, you know affected by the fires post them post them down in the comments below so anyways guys getting back into Oregon City and I guess I'll wrap this video up with one more topic and that would be probably something you guys been hearing gurgling in the background and that would be my brap brap my exhaust so uh, you guys are getting a little sneak peek right now <laughs> Uh, it's taking I mean I got all these people asking me like hey where's the video where's the video well you guys gotta remember like I've got three different exhausts I'm testing two of them the, the, the fifth one is the stock exhaust so I'm not really testing it but you know two, two both these pipes have silencers so I'm doing um, you know sound clips with and without the silencers 
I've I've got like four different days of filming on the video so far. I've got about half of it edited and I still have two two more different days of filming where I've got to do like on different days or spend like a full half a day to try to get this done. And uh, so yeah, there's still more filming, more editing to be done. And um, then at, once the, the video's done, the company Kimoto has to review the video and tell me that it's all good and then I'll make it public. But what I'm gonna tell you guys right now, I'm gonna let you guys in. All right, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret right now um, that I, I'm gonna talk about in the video. The current pipe I have on my mic right now is what I call pipe number two. And if you guys go look at my Instagram or whatever, you guys will see it's the black one. Okay, there's a, there's a fake carbon fiber one and then there's a black one. And um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now that this black pipe without the, without the silencer actually increases the horsepower of the motorcycle. Um, and I know this, you guys, I'm not like just trying to say this to get sales because I don't get anything if, if you get the sales. Um, this is a cheap pipe, you guys. I believe it's 30, 35 bucks. And I, I'm gonna tell you firsthand, there's, this is no like, I'm not like trying to, you know, sugarcoat anything. Adding this pipe with this mid pipe that I got directly is a direct increase in your power. And it sounds cool, it's lighter, so it's a performance upgrade for minimal cost. And if you guys check the description below, I have a link to this pipe and I have a product code, which will save you guys a couple bucks. I think it's like a five or 10% discount or something. It's nothing big, but it lets Kimimoto know that, uh, you know, you guys are, are watching my stuff and I'm channeling maybe some traffic to them. I don't, you know, I don't go out and like try to promote this or promote that. They sent me some goggles, you know, a month or two ago. The goggles were great. They're fine. Um, and when you look at these cans, these pipes, these slip-ons, whatever you want to call them, you know, you could pay 400, 500 bucks for a slip-on for this bike. And I'm, I'm here running and telling you guys right now that this pipe that I have on here for 30, $35, is gonna give you as much performance as that four or $500 pipe. Because you, you, you know, let's just look at the facts. You're not gonna get a huge substantial increase in power. Um, you're not gonna get an extra 300 or $400 worth of power by spending your money on a more expensive pipe. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> um, so that's, I'll leave it I'll leave it there, let you guys make your own decision. I know a lot of you guys don't like the loudness, you know, that on this bike or whatever, but I, I like it. I like the crackles, I like the gurgle. I like that throaty sound it gives me. Um, I, I like everything about this pipe, you guys. I'm super happy with it. So anyways, guys, I'm about to get home, get ready for my ride. And, uh, get this video edited so I can get it posted up for you guys tomorrow. So I want you guys to all be good, have fun, be safe, and until next time, Oregon Motorcycle.